Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be discussing my interview experience with Confluent for SD2 role. In this video, I'll give a quick intro of the company and then discuss my interview preparation and interview experience in detail. As usual, timestamps will be there in the description below. So let's get started with the discussion. Now there's a high probability that you might have not heard a lot about Confluent except the fact that it pays more than Google. Uh, reason being, Confluent is a fairly new company. It went public just last year and also it is not a customer facing company. So as an individual, you might never directly use its product since its products and services are used by other companies. Uh, Confluent works on and around Kafka. So Kafka is a very famous open source platform. It is a distributed event streaming and processing platform or in simple terms, it is like a data queue based on the PubSub model. Now Confluent builds intelligent products, SaaS services and platforms around Kafka. Services like data transformation, connect APIs and then analytics services that provide stats on data being fed to Kafka and so on. Their products are used by multiple other companies which heavily rely on Kafka. Now as you may have correctly guessed there are multiple teams and roles which work on each of these offerings. For instance, there are teams which are responsible for correct data transformation before data can be pushed from Kafka to say Salesforce. Then there's a team that creates systems for analytics. There's also a team which is responsible for monitoring the usage and billing and creating your invoices and so on. So Confluent also offers a variety of roles in backend, frontend, ML, security, QA and platform engineering. Moving on to the next important part, which is how to apply for Confluent. So like every other company, it has a career page, which lists out various open positions. But my suggestion would be that apart from applying on the careers page, do reach out to a few recruiters directly on LinkedIn. Uh, recruiters are actively looking for good candidates. And if your profile is a fit for the opening, you will definitely get a very prompt reply from the recruiter. Now recruiters usually send out a mail with all the preparation material and that mail gives a very clear summary of all the interview rounds and post that you receive a mail wherein you have to mark your availability and based on your selected date and time, uh, they schedule your interview process. Now there are very few companies that schedule interviews based on the candidates availability. So that was really cute. Also the recruiters reply very promptly if, in case if you have any query or doubt. And also the process generally comprises of uh, five interview rounds. First is a DSA qualifier round. Once you clear this round, you get to attend the next three technical interviews. These three rounds test concurrency programming, DSA and high level system design. And the last round is a cultural fit or behavioral interview. Now let's quickly discuss about the preparation required for the interviews. For DSA, lead code should be sufficient. Don't expect a very hard question or some advanced DSA. The question most probably will be a real life problem or an application based problem. And if you have a strong hold on the concepts, you should be good to go. For concurrency and multi-threaded coding, you need to have a very clear understanding of the basic concepts like processes, threads, logs, semaphores and mutex concurrency and associated problems, deadlock, starvation, race condition, critical section, and so on. And apart from the theoretical knowledge, you would also have to write a working code for the problem in the interview. So you should know how to spawn threads or processes, how to acquire logs, how to handle critical section in, in a language of your choice. So you will get some resources in the preparation mail, but I have also shared some resources below in the description. And for programming, I use Python. So I have shared resources uh, which are more or less in Python. If you have a better hold on concurrency and multi-threading in some other language, uh, please go ahead with it. And if you are using Python, do read about the global interpreter log beforehand. And for the HLD as well, I have pasted some resources in the description. But HLD round is more or less similar to other companies. So nothing new there. Moving on to my interview experience, in my qualifier round, I was asked a variation of LRU. Now the question had nothing to do with processes or resources. It was about news and timestamps. But if you have done the problem on LRU cache, 
uh you would definitely be able to solve this question it was also using a heap and a map and was quite similar in logic in my first technical interview which was a concurrency programming round i had to program a job scheduler and obviously i had to handle concurrency as well now both the concurrency programming round and hld round had open ended problems so you have to ask a lot of clarifying questions uh, to gather the requirements and then the pro- and then the problem becomes more clear as we proceed and uh, through discussion and everything but the resources in the description would prepare you well for these rounds and in the dsa round i had to solve a map and tree based question uh, you will be expected to write a working code calculate the space and time complexity and also come up with some good test cases so do focus on these as well while you are preparing for the dsa round the behavioral round was similar to every other company and was more uh, more like an open discussion so this pretty much summarizes my complete interview experience and hope these learnings and experience will come in handy for you drop your doubts in the comment section and i'll try to address them so i think i'll end this video here take care and keep learning everyone thank you